Just like every other organ in the body, the heart needs its own dedicated blood supply. The blood that fills its chambers can't diffuse nutrition efficiently enough to keep the whole structure alive, so it requires a secondary source of blood in order to keep pumping. Today we're going to cover that blood supply in simple terms. My name's Connor, and welcome to Anatomy 101. Let's first take a look at the arteries. All of the arteries in the heart originate from the aorta, which contains oxygenated blood. At the root of the aorta, there's a three-cusped valve which ensures blood can only flow in one direction. It's from just distal to this valve, in the aortic sinuses, that the coronary arteries originate. During systole, when the heart contracts to expel blood, the aortic valve opens and blood rushes out into the systemic circulation. However, during diastole, when the heart is relaxed and filling, the blood is allowed to flow backwards towards the heart. It's prevented from re-entering the heart by the aortic valve, so instead flows down the coronary arteries and into the cardiac vasculature. Now let's take a look at where that blood goes next. There are two arteries that originate in the aortic sinuses. These are the right and left coronary arteries. Both of these gradually meander towards the apex and provide numerous branches as they do. The left coronary artery travels between the pulmonary trunk and the left auricle to emerge in the coronary sulcus. From here it branches into two main divisions, the anterior interventricular branch, also commonly known as the left anterior descending, and the left circumflex branch. The left circumflex continues around the heart to provide blood to its posterior. The right coronary artery also travels in the coronary sulcus, but going in the opposite direction. It travels down here before giving off the right marginal branch, which travels towards the apex. The rest of the right coronary also continues into the posterior. The last artery to note on the anterior surface is a branch of the right coronary artery, which passes up around the superior vena cava to supply the sinoatrial node specifically. Finally, on the diaphragmatic surface, there are two main arteries to note. These are the left marginal artery, which is the final part of the left coronary artery, and the posterior interventricular artery, which is the final part of the right coronary artery. Let's recap those arteries and see what regions they supply. The right coronary artery travels in the coronary sulcus to supply the right atrium and ventricle. The right marginal artery branches from this to supply the right ventricle and part of the apex. The anterior interventricular artery supplies the interventricular septum and part of the left and right ventricles and the posterior interventricular artery does the same, but on the diaphragmatic surface. The left circumflex supplies part of the left atrium and ventricle, and finally, the left marginal artery supplies part of the left ventricle. Okay, let's finish by looking at the veins. Most of the blood supplying the heart eventually drains back into its chambers, usually the right atrium, via the coronary sinus, which sits at the border between the base and diaphragmatic surfaces although some additional blood does drain via small perforating vessels called the Thebesian veins. On the diaphragmatic surface, the main veins of note are the posterior cardiac vein, which runs over the left ventricle, the middle cardiac vein, which travels with the posterior interventricular artery, and the small cardiac vein, which brings blood from the anterolateral side of the heart. On the anterior surface, we see the right marginal vein, which will join the small cardiac vein and the anterior interventricular vein, which travels with the anterior interventricular artery. This vein eventually joins the great cardiac vein, which will travel around to the other side of the heart to produce the coronary sinus. And there we go, that's all you need to know about the blood supply of the heart. We release new videos like this all the time, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss an upload. That's all for now, I hope you learned something and have a great day.